Hi, I'm Heather Russell, one of the emergency vets at Northside Emergency Vet Service, located on Sydney's northern beaches. Here on the northern beaches and North Shore, we have one of the highest rates of tick paralysis in the country. Being the most centrally located after hours emergency hospital in the area, we see around a thousand cases of tick paralysis every year. From the routine to the more severe ventilated cases, our team of highly experienced vets and nurses are well equipped to handle all situations. Typically, an uncomplicated case of tick paralysis will stay in hospital approximately three days before being discharged home with no further problems. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case. Serious complications can arise from tick paralysis, which involve intensive intervention to give the patient every chance of survival. These complications include hypercapnia, high carbon dioxide levels in the blood, hypoxemia, low oxygen levels in the blood, retching, vomiting, megaesophagus, aspiration pneumonia, and an inability to eat for extended periods. The tick paralyzes the animal's respiration muscles, which can cause them to be unable to breathe or move their chest effectively. Animals can vomit and retch, which, coupled with their inability to swallow, they can inhale these contents into their lungs, causing a life-threatening pneumonia to develop. Unfortunately, some patients' conditions will deteriorate further and they may require to be placed on a ventilator, a machine that will breathe for them. They stay on this machine until the tick toxin has been cleared from their system and they are able to breathe on their own. Our state-of-the-art ventilators and highly experienced staff enable us to achieve excellent outcomes for the majority of our ventilated patients. If you suspect your pet has tick paralysis or you find a tick on your pet, please contact your local vet immediately. If your local vet is closed, Northside Emergency Vet Service will be open. Contact a member of our friendly NEVS team for advice.